Hello and welcome back to the Gospel Teachings of Richard Arlen Kern. I'm Jacob, and today we're going to be talking about weather. Specifically, God creates and controls the weather. Summary, one God at times has used his weather as prayed for by his prophets, and once he even put the weather at Satan's disposal in the testing of Job. Number two, rain, clouds, thunder, and lightning. Three, wind and whirlwind. Four, tempest and storm. Hail, floods, earthquakes. Eight is ice, snow, frost, and dew, and nine is mildew. God creates and controls the weather. He has at times put the weather at the disposal of his prophets and at once even to Satan and the testing of Job. One, the following scripture verses clearly show that God creates and controls the weather. Scripture also reveals that on occasion, God has used the weather in accordance with the prayers of his prophets and once he even put the weather at Satan's disposal in the testing of Job, these accounts are found in scripture as follows. Exodus 9, verse 23 through 34, Moses prayed regarding the plague of hail, thunder, and lightning on Egypt. Uh, 3 Kings 17, 1, chapter 18, uh, verse 1, and verses 41 through 45, and James chapter 5, verse 17 and 18. Elias the prophet prayed that it would not rain except by the word of his mouth. 4 Kings chapter 1, verse 9 through 15. Elias the prophet twice called down fire or lightning from heaven to destroy 51 of the king's army who had come to take him captive. Judges chapter 6 verses 36 through 40. Gideon prayed twice requesting a sign from God regarding the presence or lack thereof of dew on a woolen fleece. Job chapter 1 verses 6 through 22. God put the weather at Satan's disposal in the testing of Job. Number two, rain, clouds, thunder, and lightning. Exodus 9, 23, 29, and 33 through 34. And Moses stretched forth his rod towards heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail and lightning running along the ground. And the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. Moses said, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will stretch forth my hands to the Lord, and the thunder shall cease, and the hail shall be no more that you may know that the earth is the Lord's. And when Moses was gone from Pharaoh out of the city, he stretched forth his hands to the Lord. And the thunders and the hail ceased, neither did there drop any more rain upon the earth. And Pharaoh, seeing that the rain and the hail and the thunders were ceased, increased his sin. 1 Kings chapter 12, verses 17 through 19. Is it not wheat harvest today? I will call upon the Lord, and he shall send thunder and rain. You shall know and see that you yourselves have done a great evil on the sight of the Lord, in desiring a king over you. And Samuel cried unto the Lord, and the Lord sent thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared the Lord and Samuel. And all the people said to Samuel, Pray for your servants to the Lord your God, that we may not die. For we have added to all our sins this evil, to ask for a king. 3 Kings chapter 18 verse 1 After many days the word of the Lord came to Elias in the third year, saying, Go and show yourself to Ahab, that I may give rain upon the face of the earth. 3 Kings chapter 18, verse 24, and 36 through 38. Call you on the names of your gods, and I will call on the name of my Lord. And the God that shall answer my fire, let him be God. And all the people answering said, A very good proposal. And when it was now time to offer the holocaust, Elias the prophet came near and said, O Lord God of Abraham and Isaac and Israel, show this day that you are the God of Israel, and I your servant, and that according to your commandment I have done all these things. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may learn that you are the Lord God, and that you have turned their heart again. Then the fire of the Lord fell, and consumed the holocaust, and the wood, and the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench." 4 Kings chapter 1 verse 10. And Elias answering said to the captain of fifty, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and the fifty that were with him. Job 5 chapter, I'm sorry, verse 8 and 10. God who gives rain upon the face of the earth and waters all things with waters. Job chapter 28 verse 23 and 26. God, when he gave a law for the rain and a way for the sounding storms. Job 38, verse 1, 25, 26, 28, and 34 and 35. Then the Lord answered Job out of a whirlwind and said, 
Who gave a course to violent showers, or a way for noisy thunder, that it should rain on the earth without man in the wilderness, where no mortal dwells? Who is the father of rain, or who begot the drops of dew? Can you lift up your voice to the clouds, that an abundance of waters may cover you? Can you send lightnings, and will they go, and will they return and say to you, Here we are? Psalms, chapter 17, verse 15. And he sent forth his arrows, and he scattered them. He multiplied lightnings and troubled them. Ecclesiasticus 43, verse 14. By his commandment, he makes the snow fall apace and sends forth swiftly the lightnings of his judgment. Ecclesiasticus 43, verse 16 and 18. By his greatness, he has fixed the clouds and the hailstones are broken. The noise of his thunder shall strike the earth. So does the northern storm and the whirlwind. Isaiah Isaiah chapter 29 verse 6 And it shall be at an instant suddenly a visitation shall come from the Lord of hosts in thunder and with earthquake and with a great noise of whirlwind and tempest and with the flame of devouring fire. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 30 And the Lord shall make the glory of his voice to be heard and shall show the terror of his arm and the threatening of wrath and the flame of devouring fire. He shall crush to pieces with whirlwind and hailstones. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26, And I will make them a blessing round about my hill, and I will send down the rain in its season. There shall be showers of blessing. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 22, And I will judge him with pestilence and with blood and with violent rain and vast hailstones. I will rain fire and brimstone upon him and upon his army and upon the many nations that are with him. Amos chapter 4 verse 7, I also have withholden the rain from you, when there were yet three months to the harvest. And I caused it to rain upon one city, and caused it not to rain upon another. One piece was rained upon, and the piece whereon I rained not withered. Nahum chapter 1 verse 3. The Lord is patient and great in power, and will not cleanse and acquit the guilty. The Lord's ways are in a tempest, and a whirlwind, and clouds are the dust of his feet. Luke chapter 9 verse 54. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, will you that we bid fire come down from heaven and consume them? Number three, wind and whirlwind. Four Kings chapter 2 verse 1. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elias into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elias and Elysius were going from Galgal. Job chapter 28 verse 23 and 25. God who made a weight for the winds and weighed the waters by measure. Job 38, chap, uh, verse 1. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Psalm, uh, Psalms chapter 77, verse 26. He removed the south wind from heaven and by his power brought in the southwest wind. Psalms chapter 106, verse 25. He said the word and there arose a storm of wind and the waves thereof were lifted up. Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 verses 17 and 18 as well as 25. At his will the south wind shall blow, the noise of his thunder shall strike the earth, so does the northern storm and the whirlwind. At his word the wind is still. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 2. Behold the Lord is mighty and strong as a storm of hail, a destroying whirlwind, as the violence of many waters overflowing and sent forth upon a, a spacious land. Isaiah 29, 6, And it shall be at an instant suddenly, a visitation shall come from the Lord of hosts, with a great noise of whirlwind. Isaiah 30, 30, And the Lord shall crush to pieces with whirlwind. Amos chapter 4, 9 and 13, I struck you with a burning wind, for behold, he creates the wind. Jonah chapter 1, verse 4, but the Lord sent a great wind into the sea, and a great tempest was raised in the sea, and the ship was in danger to be broken. If you remember the story of Jonah, the whole reason that the storm was happening in the first place and they threw him off the ship and he was swallowed up uh, by the fish was because of Jonah's sin. It was God's being angry with him, that storm, under his control. Nahum, chapter 1, verse 3, The Lord's ways are in a tempest, and a whirlwind, and clouds are the dust of his feet. Agius chapter 2 verse 18, I struck you with a blasting wind. Luke chapter 8 verse 24 and 25, So they came and woke him, saying, Master, we are perishing. 
Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there came a calm. And he said to them, Where is your faith? But they were afraid and marveled, saying to one another, Who then is this that he commands even the winds and the sea, and they obey him? And that's Jesus, of course, when he was walking on the water. And um, they were basically scared of the, the storm. And he was saying, you don't have to fear. And he was showing that he had power. And Jesus being God also shows that God has power over the weather. Tempest and storm. Point number four. Job 28, verse 25 and 26. Who made a weight for the winds and weighed the waters by measure? when he gave a law for the rain and a way for the sounding storms. Job 38, 1 and 25. Then the Lord answered Job out of a whirlwind and said, Who gave a course to violent showers or a way for noisy thunder? Psalms 106, verse 25 and 29. He said the word and there arose a storm of wind and the waves thereof were lifted up. And he turned the storm into a breeze and its waves were still. Ecclesiasticus 43.18 The noise of his thunder shall strike the earth, so does the northern storm and the whirlwind. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 6 And it shall be at an instant suddenly, a visitation shall come from the Lord of hosts and thunder, and with earthquake, and with a great noise of whirlwind and tempest, and with the flame of devouring fire. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 22 And I will judge him with pestilence and with blood and with violent rain and vast hailstones. I will rain fire and brimstone upon him and upon his army and upon the many nations that are with him. Jonah chapter 1 verse 4 But the Lord sent a great wind into the sea and a great tempest was raised into the sea and the ship was in danger to be broken. Um, we read Nahum already. Uh, five is hail. Exodus nine twenty three through 34 and Moses stretched forth his rod towards heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail and lightning running along the ground. And the Lord ran, uh, rained hail upon the, the land of Egypt, and the hail and fire mixed with it drove on together. And it was of so great bigness as never before was seen in the whole land of Egypt since that nation was founded. And the hail destroyed through all the land of Egypt all things that were in the fields, both man and beast. And the hail smote every herb of the field, and it broke every tree of the country. Only in the land of Gesson, where the children of Israel were, the hail fell not. So God was in control. And Pharaoh sent and called Moses and Aaron, saying to them, I have sinned this time also. The Lord is just. I and my people are wicked. Pray you to the Lord that the thunderings of God and the hail may cease, that I may let you go, and that you may stay here no longer. Moses said, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will stretch forth my hands to the Lord, and the thunder shall cease, and the hail shall be no more, that you may know that the earth is the Lord's. But I know that neither you nor your servants do yet fear the Lord God. The flax thereof, uh, therefore and the barley were hurt, because the barley was green and the flax was now bald. But the wheat and other winter corn were not hurt, because they were lateward. When Moses was gone from Pharaoh out of the city, he stretched forth his hands to the Lord, and the thunders and the hail ceased. Neither did they drop any more rain upon the earth. And, the, and Pharaoh, seeing that the rain and the hail and the thunders were ceased, increased his sin and indeed uh, continued to harden his heart until uh, God took his first son. Joshua chapter 10 verse 11. And when they were fleeing from the children of Israel and were in the descent of Beth Horon, the Lord cast down upon them great stones from heaven, as far as Azekah. And many more were killed with the hailstones than were slain by the swords of the children of Israel. Job, chapter 38, 22 through 23. Have you entered into the storehouses of the snow, or have you beheld the treasures of the hail, which I have pre I'm sorry, prepared for the time of the enemy against the day of the battle and war? Ecclesiasticus 43:16. By his greatness he has fixed the clouds, and the hailstones are broken. Isaiah 28, verse 2 and 17. Behold, the Lord is mighty and strong, as a storm of hail. And I will set judgment in weight, and justice in measure. And hail shall overturn the hope of falsehood, and water shall overflow its protection. Uh, we read Isaiah 30, 30... Uh, Ezekiel 38, 22. And I will judge him with pestilence, and with blood, and with violent rain, and vast hailstones. Agbius, we also read floods, Isaiah 28, 2 and 17. Um, Behold, the Lord is mighty and strong as a storm of hail, a destroying whirlwind, as the violence of many waters overflowing and sent forth upon a spacious land. 
So it's talking about flooding. And I will set judgment in weight and justice in measure. And hail shall overturn the hope of Halsed, and water shall overflow it protection. Earthquakes. Number seven, Numbers 1630. But if the Lord do a new thing, and the earth opening your mouth swallow them down, and all things that belong to them, and they go down alive into hell or Sheol, uh, you shall know that they have blasphemed the Lord. Job 38.13 And did you know the extremities of the earth shaking them? And have you shaken the ungodly out of it? Ecclesiasticus 43.17 At his sight shall the mountains be shaken. Isaiah 29.6 And it shall be an instant suddenly a visitation shall come from the Lord of hosts and thunder and with earthquake. Nahum 1.5 The mountains tremble at him and the hills are made desolate. And the earth has quaked at his presence and the world and all, the, all that dwell therein. Number eight is ice, snow, frost, and dew. Judges 6, 37 through 40. I will put this fleece of wool on the floor. If there be dew on the fleece only, and it be dry on all the ground beside, I shall know that by my hand, as you have said, you will deliver Israel. And it was so. And rising before day, wringing the fleece, he filled a vessel with dew. And he said again to God, Let not your wrath be kindled against me, if I try once more, seeking a sign in the fleece. I pray that the fleece only may be dry, and all the ground wet with all the ground wet with dew. And God did that night as he had requested, and it was dry on the fleece only, and there was dew on all the ground. So he did the opposite, just to show that he could. Job thirty eight, twenty two through twenty three and twenty eight and twenty nine. Have you entered into the storehouses of the snow? Or have you beheld the treasures of the hail, which I have prefer- prepared for the time of the enemy against the day of battle and war? Who is the father of rain? Or who begot the drops of dew? Out of those womb came the ice and the frost from heaven who has, get- or who has gendered it. Psalm 148.8 Fire, hail, snow, ice, stormy winds, which fulfill his word. By his word, these things happen. Ecclesiasticus 43.14 By his commandment he makes the snow to fall apace or swiftly. Ecclesiasticus 43.19 and and 21 And as the birds lighting upon this earth, he scatters snow, and the falling thereof is as the coming down of locusts. He shall pour frost as salt upon the earth, and when it freezes, it shall become like the top of thistles. 9. Mildew Amos 4.9 I struck you with a burning wind, and with mildew, yet you returned not to me, says the Lord. Agius 2.18 I struck you with a blasting wind, and all the works of your hand with a mildew, and with hail, yet there was none among you that returned to me, says the Lord. So, God is showing there that he punishes with weather, sometimes with floods, with hail, with earthquakes, whirlwinds, um, flooding, that's all things that God uses to show and help people learn from mistakes that are being made. And if you don't think God controls the weather, you're very confused. If you read the Bible, there's many instances, which I just read through many of them, where God is very much in control of the weather at all times. Um, As much as our society today wants to say that we are um, either, you know, whatever it might be, climate change, or global warming, um, I'm not saying that humans haven't done things to the earth to make it different than it was. Uh, Hurtful things, I'm sure. Um, But when it comes down to it, the weather and the storms are only more apparent now because our world is more sinful now. And that is something that uh, a lot of us don't understand or know. It's not because we are burning fossil fuels or anything like that. Um, It's because we are sinning. Uh, drastically and abundantly and God is sick of it and it's only going to get worse um, and more um, apparent and more abundant. So um, you should pray that you are not in this type of situation and pray that your city and your family is safe from things like this in in the time that we're living. Uh, I pray that you all have a wonderful night and God bless.